guys and gals, this is Alex Costa from a &R Design, and today we're gonna do the review on the Rifle Dynamics Quick Hat. This is a SBR. This is the RD74, serial number 54, so that's cool, two digit serial number. Uh, chambered in 5.45 by 39 millimeter. I'm not sure how long we waited, I think it was like a three or four month wait. We sent our suppressor in to Rifle Dynamics so that they could ensure concentricity uh, with the suppressor that this gun would be hosting. We did start with the SLX 556C. I am running the full length SIG SLX 556 today, just being a little quieter. My son sleeps through machine gun fire, but I wanna be a little respectful to him while he's taking a nap today. So a lot of stuff that we sell on our website, we outfitted with this gun. Uh, we do sell the Neomag Sentry Strap System. It is a magnetized uh, sling system. So if you need to get your sling out in a hurry, slings out, and this is magnetized. Typically it falls back on itself and stays in place. Great keeper for your sling. Um, we sell switches for lights and we sell rifle lights. So we're running a Surefire uh, mini scout and a mod light light button for the surefire lights. I have a chopped BCM grip here. BCM makes probably the most affordable not vertical grips. They are actually, the gunfighter grips are like a 15 degree cant, so they're not a true vertical, even though they're advertised as vertical, but you can chop them into a hand stop. Super cool, super affordable. Running a BCM MWOC quick disconnect and uh, the quick disconnects that we sell with our slings. This is our Link Light Sling that we sell. It's the lightest weight, berry compliant, 100% US made and US material sling on the market. So we are running our very own Anvil Ukon Acro um, mount. So this, was, this has the P2 on it. We originally made these for the P1s because the P2s didn't exist. P1, P2s are, are advertised to fit the same dovetails. Uh, I have noticed some P2s fit our dovetail, some don't. Uh, in this case, this was a little wobbly, so I did get the FCD tension bar here, and I used the factory screw, not the FCD screw, because the FCD screw was a bigger diameter than the actual countersink for it, and it would rub the bottom of our mount. So I used the factory acro screw with the FCD tension bar, and it got rid of all that slop on the anvil and the P2. And the nice thing about our anvils, this is an AK, there's no real rear sight here. There's not a whole lot of rail space for backup iron sights. Our Anvil Ukon has a uh, adjustable elevation front sight post and a pistol style rear U-notch. And it's a, a lower, in the window, a lower thirds witness. So not lower thirds from the rifle, but lower third. the lower third of the optical center is our backup iron sight system. It's great for minute a man at 50 yards. If you know what I mean by that, you're gonna be putting rounds on steel at 50 yards with the optic turned off. A lot of people complain about, but my sight radius. Well, sight radius really matters mostly in pistols because there are so many body mechanics happening when you are holding a pistol. Uh, with a rifle, you have three points of contact and it's just straight vectors. Line up your iron sights, they are in the same focal plane. So if you ran this more forward, a lot of people like running their optics more forward on AKs. If you ran this more forward, both your rear sight and your front sight would be in the same focal plane because they're so close together. You're not gonna get rear iron sight blurring or front sight blurring. So because they're so close together and they're in the same focal plane, they become essentially like a sacrificial or backup emergency backup red dot, allowing you to place hits on IPSC you know, C zone and in at 50 yards if your optic was to fail or you forgot to turn it on in an emergency. So that's why they exist, that's why we do it. And we pleasantly have three NATO stock numbers attributed with our Anvil products because they are in use by unnamed military units. So super cool. I saw a picture of the quick hatch on Rifle Dynamics' page and I said, I want the whole setup. So I believe this is a Midwest Industries um, folding stock adapter, the Magpul stock with the cheek riser. So get you a little bit higher up in line with the optic. I wanted my optic, not 193. Uh, this is more like a 166 height, which 
still allows you to get over lights and lasers, but on an AK platform like this, you've got plenty of room for night vision. About the quick hatch, it's their proprietary rail system, their proprietary gas system. In the very front of the gas block here, I'm not gonna flag our cameraman, but in the very front, there is a Allen key there, and you can adjust right or left for your gassing. It's very, very simple to adjust gas on this. And there's plenty of room to get your Allen key here and not burn your hands if you're dialing your gas to your suppressor while it's hot. The barrel, I believe, because it's 545, they're running a really awesome twist rate. It's a one, it's a one in six. I think it might be one six in a decimal, but again, rifle dynamics sped up the twist rate, stabilizing 545, and it's a pretty accurate platform. I don't have paper data to show. I haven't brought this to a 50 yard range on paper to show, but it's a fairly accurate 50 yard zero so far. And uh, we'll run it today on steel and see how it runs. Um, I'm also running a Texas Weapon Systems hobnob charging handle, enhanced charging handle. It's aluminum. It doesn't add too much weight to the bolt carrier. Rifle Dynamics has a enhanced safety. They've got a little nub here for your index finger to disengage the safety. And they have a G3 trigger in there. So it runs really fast. If you've watched our video on the SLR 104 UR with the Putnik can, this gun's very quick very soft shooting, very comparable to the SLR that we have in terms of soft shooting and speed. So it's a great platform and we're gonna put tons of rounds through it today. Common question, what color is this? This is Aerovo Field Drab. Aerovo doesn't make spray paint anymore. <laughs> so it's unobtainium, but it's the hardest use spray paint I've ever owned. Um, and I have like 18 cans of it that I won't get rid of. You know what's nice about Rifle Dynamics guns? They come lubed. They come lubed with grease. Uh, a lot of folks ask, you know, why are you doing 545 guns? During COVID, 545 was the only ammo available. It's like 22 cents a round. And when everyone was buying up 556 and buying up all that ammo, I would buy a thousand rounds a week for Christ, the better part of a year. So I ended up amassing almost 60,000 rounds of 545 in 2020. And so I have a surplus of it. And I know it's 70, 80 cents a round right now. Back in the day, being an AK bro was kind of like dudes that didn't have a ton of money would buy AKs, trick them out, run AK stuff, run mill serp stuff because it was affordable. Being an AK bro now is like, you might as well just build 300 blackout guns all day long because you're in 300 blackout territory now for the price of 762 by 39 and 545 for target ammo. Um, it is, it is not cheap to be an AK guy now. Holy smokes, being an AR guy is a lot more affordable. Let's speak on the quick catch as a system. They make them in 7.62, they make them in 5.45. I don't know, did they make them in 5.56? I'll have to look on their website. It's a sick AK. The adjustable gas is super sweet. I tuned this gun to this suppressor. Runs super flat, getting like two o'clock ejection and 
it's it's almost as flat and soft shooting as my built out SLR 104. Uh, I'm really impressed. Rifle Dynamics knocked it out of the park with their with their own proprietary AK, the Quick Hatch. If you're looking to get an American-made modernized AK, I think this is it. You just can't beat the adjustable gas system. And that is such a huge selling point. I've seen some of their gas tuned 760 by 39 guns and they're just absolutely amazing. Well, that was silly. Why did that just happen? Ugh! Usually you're supposed to like push down. This thing is, this knuckle is garbage. I will be throwing this Midwest Industries Picatinny buffer tube assembly in the trash. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do this. You know, I, I'm not sure if this is a defective, I'm not sure if this is a defective part. Uh, I don't like it, I'm switching over to an MCX Picatinny knuckle and buffer tube system. Other than that, and again, that's not anything to do with rifle dynamics. I am in love with this build. This build is sick. Rifle Dynamics, you fucking killed it. Thank you so much for this uh, opportunity to get one of your sick builds. I've always wanted a Rifle Dynamics AK, and um, hopefully I did my best to describe how cool this gun is. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment, subscribe, like this video. We appreciate it. Trying our best to put out quality content for you guys and appreciate all the support.